Today I'm gonna go with something a little bit different. Um, it's kind of a rant video, but then it's kind of not. I know I should be going to New Year's ranting off on my channel, but let me just get into it. Okay, so I get asked a lot about how to start a YouTube channel and where I buy my stuff from. Now, me personally, I'm a small YouTuber. That's what I look at myself as. I don't see anything. I, I'm humble at where I am at. I'm happy at where I am at. Um, I don't see myself higher than anybody else that has lesser subscribers than me. I don't see myself lower than the higher YouTubers. But at the same time, I know that I'm a small YouTuber and I'm just starting off. This is why I call myself a small YouTuber. Yeah, I get asked a lot how I started and how did I find the confidence in starting? How did I know how to lift off into the YouTube career? And you know what, to be honest, I started just like you. I'm not gonna um, say that I didn't and I knew everything that I've been doing right now because I didn't know nothing to do at all. I didn't know what to do. I basically did what you guys are doing right now. When I get asked where I get certain things from, I will automatically tell you what I am using, where I have brought it from, you know, what I did to to learn certain things like how to edit and stuff and the feedbacks that I always get is thank you ever so much. You're not like these other YouTubers, like the bigger ones where they don't want to tell me nothing. They don't even want to let me know where they brought their camera from. They don't even want to let me know how they edited their thing and this that and the other, like their videos and stuff and I'm like, I'm not surprised. I give that look because I just feel so sorry for them. Like I, I feel so bad because I once was there, I was once in that position and like I asked around a thousand times. I lost count. Now for me as a person, I find it really hard sometimes to ask for help. So for me to actually come out of my shell and to ask where did you buy that camera from or how did you edit that part in the video how did you do that pop up where you just blast off and how did you do this how did you do that overlay in the video and this that and the other and um the worst thing for me is that it's people that i actually looked up to on youtube that i asked and they didn't want to tell me they didn't want to tell me why i do not know but i always knew that when i do get onto youtube and I do work it out. I'll be more than happy to let everybody know how I started, where I've got my items from and what I use to do my videos and this and that. I'll be more than happy to do that because I was once in their position where I was asking around and people wanted to be more high and mighty where they didn't want to let me know where they brought their stuff from or they didn't even want to message me back. And I can see that you sent my message, you just didn't want to message me back. And I just couldn't understand why. I just feel like we should all support each other and like as YouTube creators and stuff like I don't see where like you're telling people where you brought your stuff from or what stuff you're using is gonna mess with your content it's not gonna mess with your content they can never make the video exactly the same as yours it will always be different people will be always on your channel for a certain reason they might like the way you look they might like the way you talk they might like the way you explain things and you know just things like that is why they might be on your channel no matter if somebody else does try to take your stuff or whatever people might come to their channel for a complete different reason like i don't see why you telling 10 old people that hasn't got a youtube channel yet and wants to start or i don't know what's the problem if you're giving that information out i don't see the reason why you can't do that i really don't unless you think they're gonna take a shine. And I do shout out to the OGs, the original YouTubers, because you see them ones, they are the ones that actually did acknowledge me and just like kind of told me bits and bobs of what they've done to get where they need to get to and stuff. But I'd say like the ones that's just like come up the past few years, some of them ones that I tried to reach out, I'm not going to name and shame or whatever, but I legit, because I was just like, 
wow i'm not even going to get into that just wow yeah like i said there's people that's come to me and said oh, i've asked a lot of people and they don't want to tell me where they've got this stuff from and this that and the other it's just nonsense to me for the last two three days i've been asked a lot by a lot of a majority of people of how i started my youtube channel and what i use so i'm just going to put it in this video um because like I said, I was once there in your position and it, it's just not nice when you want to start up. You want to start up and just learn and know things. I already heard back from like two people and it wasn't enough that I needed to hear but I then just learnt myself as I went along. There is also videos on YouTube which have a lot of information on how to edit videos, how to start a YouTube career. Um, so like, you can start just by your phone. I was very blessed to have a, some money put aside to be able to buy the camera that I really wanted to use. Um, so I started off with buying the camera first and I went on holiday and I vlogged my whole holiday which is the Barcelona vlog that you'll see down below somewhere. Um, that personally is what made me motivated and more to vlog because I knew I was going on holiday. So I bought the, the camera, went on holiday, vlogged it and I thought this is going to start me off. Yeah, I didn't have been beauty challenge before that. It's the vlogs that made me want to push more to YouTube. When I first started YouTube, I opened up a YouTube channel like years ago. This is when Aaliyah J kind of started out. That is when I wanted to start watching hers. Is when I wanted to start my YouTube career. But I got sidetracked so much. So many things came up in my life where I just kept getting sidetracked and I thought I don't want to just start and be getting sidetracked. Always remember when you start you've got to be really dedicated into this whole YouTube life. Don't just come on here with a half mindset because you need to keep your viewers there still. Like you need to keep giving content to keep, keep your viewers there. It is hard, it's not as easy as it looks. Oh my gosh it is not as easy. I'm not going to sugarcoat it but when you work it out it will become easy. For me I feel like the editing part is just long i can do all this video in this is this is cool like, i can do all this but you see when it comes to editing is that's when i'm just like i can't be bothered that i would go and hire somebody to edit my video when i started up i only had my camera i would use a normal lamp and i'd put a daylight bulb in there and i would have it behind my camera behind or in front of my camera somewhere another just somewhere where the lighting would be very good on my face um you might have noticed that in my bimboozle challenge where we first started with the camera and just the whack lighting <laughs> but it was good it still got views it was it still got me subscribers and stuff yes yeah, so i started off with that and then i worked on saving for my ring light which I am using now. So as you can see, I just find a regular background, a nice background. I'm sorry, you guys, my, my camera cut off. Yeah, I find a regular background and then I just get a chair or something to sit on, place my ring light in front of me with my camera attached to it and just film. This is the camera that I use and this is the editing software that I use. Um, they're both easy to start off with being a new youtuber and stuff um, yeah but if you want me to go more in depth in how my setup is and how i edit my videos comment down below i'll be more than happy to help you guys with showing you how i edit my videos and stuff because i know a lot of people ask me about that but look, i still can't believe how much subscribers i've got right now that's viewing me I did not think I was going to get the subscribers that I've got today. I know it's not a lot, but I did not think with my humble self, I didn't, I, I still don't believe how much I, I look at some of my videos and I see some of my views and I'm just like, wow. Just my mirror one, a DIY. I got six, almost 7k views on there and I'm just like, wow. Only if them 7k viewers could just click that subscribe button and like as much as possible too that would be so blessed but like I said I'm humble I'm happy for that this was not shot at any other youtubers or anything I just feel like you don't need to just stop that that rubbish not helping or smaller youtubers or people that just want to start thank god for the ones that 
do you actually want to help and have put out content on YouTube for us to learn on how to edit a video? Do you certain little things like that? Thank God for them because I don't know how I would have done it. So yeah, give this video a thumbs up if you like. Let's get this video to like 20 likes. Comment below, like the video, get it to 20 likes and I will see you in my next video. Peace. Is it seven o'clock?